All right, welcome back. This is episode four of Grim Fandango. Last time we did a little bit of exploring, got some information. Um, we're gonna try out an idea. We're gonna break the machine that delivers all of the message tubes to the different employees. That way, when the machine breaks, someone will have to open the door we can't open. And when they open the door, we can um, go inside and swap the tube directions, but first, any good gossip? Wow, any good gossip. I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bayesa. Guys, I don't want Well, okay. I gotta go hit the bricks. I mean, you knew right from the way they had a history. Um, okay, uh, let's go down here. I have some things that could potentially work um, uh, in terms of working to break the machine. We need something to fit in the message tubes. Is this where the tube thing is? Yeah, this is where the tube thing is. Um, we want to... My idea is to use something with the molding, the, the packing chemicals. Um, like when he was, he sealed that other guy away in a, a couple episodes ago. Um, so we got a chemical right there. Let's... The bread of the dead. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Okay. So that just makes an annoying sound. See, I thought, like, the, the bread is a tube. So you fill the packing foam, it goes into the machine, and it breaks, and... Well, that idea didn't work. Um, let's see what we have at the other end of this hallway. Maybe there's an area that I haven't seen yet, because I haven't turned the right way. All the way down. Nope. It's just a wall. All right, let's go back up to the boss's office. Unless he's back because he... Um... Well, no, he can't be. Like, he, he popped in for that one scene, but there was clearly a rope leading away from his house. So, or his house, his office. This isn't his house. Um... Let's go up to the boss man's office, see if we can find anything, even if it's just an empty tube. Maybe we just put some foam in the tube and then it gets jammed and then they have to fix the machine or something. Or maybe there's some kind of key or access or something to the, the tube. So he has his window locked. No use for it. Which must mean no. He's... No way. If I go any farther, Don will see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. All right. So there's nothing up here for me. There's a ladder over there. I wonder how I can get over there. Okay, so there there is a way to get over there, but we can't get over there right now. 
Let's just... So confused. There's gotta be a building or something that I haven't gone in yet. Hello? Just a reminder, for those viewing this live, you can see it um, happening live on twitch.tv slash headshot point 16, um, but you can also just find it on youtube.com slash headshot poison 16, um, split up into episodes after the fact, so for those wondering why there's weird breaks and weird gaps, I'm not doing the typical um, editing process simply because of lack of skill. So I'm just using Twitch's ability to split things up into 15 minute increments to export to my YouTube channel. Which is also helpful because if you've ever started a new YouTube channel, you realize that you're pretty limited in what you can upload at first. My music YouTube channel has very little restrictions on it now because I've been consistently uploading videos over the past few years. Well, inconsistently, but enough where um, I can have long videos and I can live stream and all that good stuff. But I'm trying to grow the channel associated with the name of this Twitch um, account. So, figure to keep everything under one roof, make things easier. Alright. There's a... Mm, anything in Dom's office? Is he still punching things? Yeah. No use for it. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust. It. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. How do I get him out of his office? This is all very confusing to me. Alright, let's check. Is there anything past my office that I haven't seen? Nope. Let's go back to my office. Anything on my computer? I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Messages. And I shove the bread in this tube. I can. <laughs> Look out below. See, I knew the bread had to be for something. I thought we had to cover it in molding gel first. Okay. And now. We can go down to the tube room where the machine is now broken, and hopefully someone will have opened it so that we can get inside, change the tube direction, get a lead, and start our next case in the... probably in the next episode. Oh, this is the wrong elevator. Go back up. Wrong elevator. Oh, I keep forgetting I can run. Why don't I run everywhere? I'm just gonna, just gonna remember to run everywhere. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. There must be something else keeping it shut. I don't get it. I put the bread in the...
Putting. Ugh. Let's try putting the bread. This other piece of bread. The bread of the dead. That wouldn't be a. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremony. It's a lump of our packing foam. Thing of, let's go try putting another thing of bread in the the tubes. But it seems like there needs to be some additional item, or or like some other step, because it, it looked like it just. I don't know. I can get more bread anytime I need it. So clearly, I need the bread for. Something. Alright, so... Oops. Can I shove the fire extinguisher in it? I don't think it's small enough, but... That's not on fire. That's not on fire. It's not on fire. Okay. Let's try shoving the balloon animal. Nope. Okay, bread. In you go. So that didn't do anything. What can I put in the tube? There's got to be something that clogs up the system. What items are there? I can't put a balloon animal in there. I can't put... I can't use the foam on the balloon animal. The foam would do something. Very interesting. All right, let's let's check over here again by the machine. Anything we might have missed? As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. the packing stuff. Oh, adventure games. At least I can run. Let's go get some more bread. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Bread to honor the dead. Okay. My kid, though. Ah, jeez. What now? Um, a dead worm. Robert Frost, trying to stump me, eh? Let's just get one of each one. My kid died. I did one. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Alright. That's not what balloons are for. So, clearly, we, we've reached a point of confusion. Um. But, you know, I will just pick this up in the next episode. Um, so again, thank you for watching. Um, I know this is kind of a, an interesting start to a channel, let alone, you know, a, a Let's Play series. But um, hopefully we can learn together and stick it out. And I will see you in the next episode of Grim Fandango.